All right, everyone, it is the evening of the 9th. Tomorrow is the 10th. We're gonna go out, it's the last day of duck season uh, here in Western North Carolina on the first phase. It's only three days long. Got a good swamp that I've looked at a few times. I've never been to hunt it, but I've been to go scout it one time and I walked up on it and just ducks flew out of it everywhere, so. Anyways, we're going out. I got a few mallard decoys I might put out. I don't really know whether I should sneak up and try and get up on the woodies and hunt or if I should go out and put decoys out and be loud. It's all a learning experience for me. I don't know. This will be a good one for y'all to follow along with me. I'm new to duck hunting. Uh, I did a little bit last year. We had a little bit of success, a little bit of a hang up with some game warns and stuff. Luckily, they were nice enough to know that we had just got into hunting and <laughs> give us a second chance and let us learn the laws so that was a that was a big thing but anyways we know the laws very well this year and we are gonna go check out a couple places that i got in mind there's a there's a few swamps up in the forest they're hard to find up in the mountains you know waterville lake waterville which i've already done uh, a video on i want to go duck hunt it too this winter and this next uh, place I'm going tomorrow is kind of in the area, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. It's uh, It might be a honey hole. You never know. So anyways, come along with me. Check it out. Hopefully we got some good luck tomorrow. Shoo. All right, guys. We're in the duck pond. I know you can't see me very well, but I'm going to show you our setup real quick. Nice swamp. And it's about 15 minutes till shooting light. That's so we're gonna get at it. They're gonna start flying in now. And I should attract more. I got one. Get ready, they're gonna fly. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Get ready, there's another one. Oh shit. Now how am I gonna get over there? Two birds, one shot, boy. Phew. Two birds, one shot, baby. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hmm. Oh, shit. Not that way. Neither. Oh, I wonder if I go back to the truck and I get my poles out of there, my extension poles. I bet you I can reach it. All right guys, Carolina's King here. I had a little walk back through the swamp. It was kind of hard to navigate out there. But uh, anyways, I got two wood ducks, super excited. Uh, super happy about that. They're a little bit far out in the water. So I came up here to get some uh, extendable poles that I keep in my Jeep. And we're gonna hopefully get those bad boys. Duck getter patented. Got some Mac MacGyver shit. If we would have been sitting here on the first two, we probably would have killed them too. Those ones were mallards, the ones that flew through earlier. All right, Broski. <laughs> oh yeah. Extendomatic 3000. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay. That is a pretty duck. Oh my goodness gracious. Got him in the head. Well, gotta get the duck. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. It's cold already. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I shot the duck, he's laying there dead. I'm not gonna waste it. All right guys, so after my swim and retrieval, we ended up with <laughs> two nice woodies, nice wood ducks. And I'm gonna cook these guys up tonight. They're a nice pair of wood ducks. everyone uh, we ended up with uh, two wood ducks today we had a good hunt this morning <clears throat> this is what you're left over these are I've, I've got one bird done and this is two breasts out of a bird so it's basically what you get when you breast a wood duck I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one and we'll speed it up fast motion and show you all how to do it real quick Do a heavy dose of pepper and then not much salt. All right. All right, so I made a little place just uh, in between the potatoes. I'm going to add just a touch more oil on it and burn. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the temperature down to 300, of course. Some bacon bits. I'm actually going to put those. Inside, I forgot to put them in there earlier. I'm gonna do a little texture. I'll take these and put them on top. I'll put a little seasoning in there too. Alright guys, so I know I'm going to get some negative feedback on this video, probably from some duck hunters. I do want to run down that it is completely legal in the state of North Carolina to shoot uh, ducks on the water. I'm hunting for meat, you know. I'm fairly new to the sport too. I've only probably killed five ducks in my life. Uh, the first time I got hang up with uh, some game wardens, I didn't really get in too much trouble, but was checked and learned that I needed to know the laws a lot better than I did. So. I asked them everything I needed to know, that included 
um, can you shoot ducks in the water? And it was answered by a state game warden that you are allowed to. So, first of all, don't want to hear that. Second of all, if you want to talk ethics with me, I killed two birds in one shot today in the head. There's no holes in the meat whatsoever. There's not a hole in the breast. So, we can't really get more ethical than that. Um, you know, maybe it's not as sporty as uh, people might say but I am out there hunting for meat I say it all day long I'm not um, really a sport hunter I really don't like killing things but um, I do enjoy eating wild game and I do enjoy hunting you know for what it is the killing part is probably my least favorite part of hunting so anyways I just wanted to run over that with you guys and tell you my opinion on it will I go out and shoot every single bird that I see on the water no a lot of times it's best to just leave them there if they're landing close to you and see if they can attract other birds um, use them to your advantage and I understand that but today man we drove an hour and a half sat out in the rain for an hour and a half and two birds lined up where I could take them out with one shot and I thought that was pretty cool I mean I'll remember it for the rest of my life so um, fault me if you want to but haters gonna hate I just figured I'd address it now talk to you guys later